I'd like to begin by reading a poem by Elizabeth Bishop, who died last October, and who, it's hard to say, but I think for me at least, it was the most irreplaceable poet of the last 25 years. This is a little villanelle called One Art. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day, accept the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing farther, losing faster, places and names, and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look, my last or next to last of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I owned, two rivers, a continent. I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing's not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. Elizabeth Bishop used to talk about poems she meant to write or began to write and never finished. And one subject she had up her sleeve, I don't think she got very far with it, was a poem about the manatee, her favorite animal. You all can call to mind the the great sea cows who live in, in tropical rivers. And I wrote this, I guess, for her, though not to her, um, about a month ago. It's, uh, it's called Developers at Crystal River. That's the river in Florida where there's still a few manatees left. Can you all hear me? Elysian glade, roilings, upshudderings of tinsel, mirror sycamores in wind. No, we are underwater. These are the springs. From deep below the bottom of white sand, mercurial baubles effervesce. To aerate a glassed-in bower of bliss they keep at 74 degrees. The mother manatees brought here as babies bring their babies here to see the year-round decorations and revel in each tree's renewing fruitlessness. Muses of sheer indolence they are and foes to nothing in creation. Least of all those luscious undulating lawns downstream, plowing through which a sudden tenor scream the power launch veers on guard Paths widen blue, then redden. The huge myopic cows go unheard. Poor finely wrinkled humps over and over scarred by the propellers, gaffs, and garden tools the boatmen use on them for fun. Each year are fewer. Sweet heaven, here comes one, no heavier than a sigh or small dirigible gone limp, or adipose naiad walking through murk on knives. Unmarriageable, unless to the Prince of Wales, in her backwater court she'll have escaped our human hells. Look how the blades have cut even into her. Intuiting the visitor, she drifts closer, 
flippers held out, deprecative but lonely, makes to salute her long-lost cousin with his flippers, his camera and visor. Time stops as face to face she offers what he'll only back on earth find words for, a rueful, chaste, unshaven kiss. <laughs> 